Hello everybody, this is Paul with CDA. Going to go ahead and give you a demonstration on the cancellation list. The first thing I want to point out is that the customer is on the schedule for the 17th. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how the customer gets on the cancellation list. And what would happen is, is that the customer would say, I'd like to get on your cancellation list. And so what the agent will do is she'll explain to the customer that there's two types of lists the customer can get on. They can get on a specific date or they can get on the first available. And for our demonstration, we're going to go ahead and say that the customer wanted to get on, on a specific date. So we specify the specific date and we say OK. You'll see that we then document it on the claim. And then if you look at the split screen, you'll notice that the customer got a confirmation text message letting them know that they're on the cancellation list. And so now what's going to happen is in this demonstration, we're going to show you that it's the 11th. And so this particular tech has two calls and there was a cancellation. So now the route manager wants to get uh, a slot field for the cancellation. And so what the route manager does is the route manager just clicks on a waiting for cancellation. And then what we do is we show you a big bubble pen, you might say, to let you recognize this is a cancellation list uh, that a customer wants to get on. And you'll notice it's green. Down in the legend, this shows that it's an all day appointment. And so what the route manager does is they double click and what they'll see is that we will show them the current information for the schedule, customers on the schedule for the 17th, and that the uh, route manager can get them on the schedule for the 11th. So the first thing the route manager will do was it will be to attempt to get a hold of the customer. And of course, what the route manager is going to do is the route manager is going to send the customer a text message. And so what will happen is the route manager will send the customer a text message. And again, this demonstration is in real time. So you'll look down and you'll see that the phone just changed and said, hey, would you like to get on the schedule? And the customer is going to say, yes, I would. The customer said that that appointment will work just fine. And then again, you're seeing a live demonstration. So we're just going to wait for that response to come back. You'll see the response came back. And so now what the technician does is the technician is going to just double check. Yep, it's for today. Hit submit. And then what's going to happen is, again, in real time, you're going to see on the split screen that the customer got an automated message via text that, yes, they are on the schedule. And then you'll notice that this particular call auto populated into the schedule as well. And so now the route manager can go ahead and finish up the routing of the schedule. Now what I'd like to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, in the demonstration if the customer would have had an all day appointment, the same scenario is going to happen. And it's just that the text message languages will look a little different. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. Alrighty, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like when the customer selects an all day uh, availability from the cancellation list. So we're just going to go through the same steps. But this time we're just going to say first available. We're going to say submit. And then what you're going to notice is that you're going to notice it says for the first available date. We're going to look at the split screen. We're going to notice that the customer got the confirming text message. And now what we're going to do, going to go through the same routine for the demo that the route manager wants to fill a slot. They come to the awaiting for cancellation. They get the bigger pen that tells them to click move over. And what we're going to do, we're going to send a text message to the customer. And so we send that text message to the customer and we're just going to wait for the customer to get it. Then the customer is going to reply. And then what we're going to do, we're going to wait for the reply from the customer. Again, this is all happening in real time for our demo. So we're just going to go ahead and wait. We got the thumbs up. Then the uh, route manager is going to double uh, check, make sure it's for the correct day. They're going to say submit. And then what's going to happen is that customer is going to get the confirming text message, which they did. And then you're going to notice that the uh, claim went ahead and populated for that day that they selected from the cancellation list. What I'd like to show you now is how to get a customer off the cancellation list. So all you're going to do is you're simply going to uncheck. It's going to say, are you sure? We're going to say yes. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to utilize the cancellation list. 
And what we've also learned is that it's broken down into two components. The first component is going to be the CSR component. And then the second component is going to be the route manager where they use the awaiting for cancellation.